Hello everyone. Even though this is a place that we've probably been before, you probably haven't seen some of the scene that's behind me here today. As many of you know, we're having windows replaced in the education building. And that meant we had to clear all the window sills. And so all of these plants you see behind me and more uh, have been relocated for uh, the construction time. And so I thought you might enjoy seeing some of them. And some, some of you might even recognize some of these plants. By the way, some of them are open for adoption. So if you need plants in your home, let me know. I ran into something I think it's very exciting as I was reading and studying, the Holy Spirit just seemed to kind of shine a light on this verse that I've read probably hundreds of times before. Um, and it comes from Ephesians. And let me read it and then I'll expand upon it. This is from the second chapter of Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. And it starts with the fourth verse, it goes through the end of the sixth verse. But God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our transgressions made us alive together with him in Christ by grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that's beautiful enough in itself uh, just the idea that God has raised us from the dead and then raised us to this heavenly position. But as I read it, I began realizing that I have been raised from the dead now. We're not talking about uh, the time when I finally give up the ghost, when my spirit rises up to be with the Lord. I have been raised from the dead now, from my transgressions now. And that means that I have been seated in the heavenly places in Christ now, not when I go to be with the Lord someday, or when the trumpet sounds and we all gather to be with the Lord. We have opportunity to be with the Lord. And as I began to study that out, it, I saw it in line with the same scripture verse that I had been reading the day before about how often Jesus separated himself from the disciples and went to be alone in praying to the Father. And suddenly it just kind of opened up in my mind, the Holy Spirit allowed me to put those two together, that if we want to experience this heavenly place that we've been seated in, we have to spend time alone with God. That's what Jesus did. Jesus separated himself from the disciples and, and got alone and got to, with his Father. And so uh, I don't know if you have a place in your house that you like to go. Remember, Jesus once said, you need to Go into your prayer closet, close the door, and be alone with me. And so, uh, you know, I, I don't know how many of you, again, have a place where you consider to be a worship place in your home. Uh, maybe that's a closet. Maybe that's a family room. Maybe that's a back patio. Some place where you can get away from the hustle and bustle of the world and get alone with Christ. And I think when we do that, more than just on Sunday, you know, on Sunday we close our eyes, we, well, some of us do, <laughs> and we pray, we get alone with Jesus. But I think that the more we do that, the more often we do that, the more we're going to experience this being in heavenly places with Christ. And so I hope, I hope that a little talk excites you as much as this excited me. And I'm looking forward more and more each day to find places to get away, to sit with the Lord, and to enjoy my heavenly home now, right here on earth. Because believe me, I'm looking around today. I'm not seeing much heaven around me. But I know that Christ can be with me in the heavenly places when we get together with him. God bless you. Have a great day.